from 2002 through 2006 for a total of 40 issues, DC Comics published Gotham Central, as the concept of the comics focused on that of the Gotham City Police Department, on the sort of situations or scenarios that the police officers dealt with on a daily basis while protecting the city. The 40 issues of the series had the officers divided between the day and night shifts, in which they handled cases and lived their lives as well through Gotham City. The characters depicted were Officers Marcus Driver, Romy Chandler, Renee Montoya, Crispus Allen, Josephine MacDonald, the then Commissioner Michael Atkins, Captain Margaret Sawyer, and Lieutenant Ron Probson were also depicted within the series. Even Jim Corrigan had an appearance towards the end of the series. Storylines depicted in the series had villains Mr. Freeze, Firebug, Two-Face, Joker, The Mod Hatter, Penguin, Black Spider, Dr. Alchemy, Poison Ivy, Fisherman, all make appearances within the stories, as well as heroes Batman, Captain Marvel, and the heroine of Huntress. Upon the series' consolation, Michael Atkins left the Gotham City Police Force due to then unexplained circumstances. During the one year later, with James Gordon returning as commissioner, Crispus Allen made further appearances within the DC Universe. Renee Montoya is a regular supporting character of the Batman lore due to her being associated with the now iconic Batman the Animated Series. Josephine MacDonald and Maggie Sawyer had minor roles in DC's 52. Gotham Central never sold well technically in terms of revenue for DC Comics at the time. But through paperback collections, the series made a profit for DC. On the premise or the concept of a comic based series focusing on new and minor police themed characters were considered very appealing to readers as well as critics. According to information now known, DC Comics would have possibly continued the series longer than it had, but it was editorial leadership that decided to cancel the series. Further plans would have had that the original Gotham Central would have continued in a new series, being that of the original Streets of Gotham, with the main focus being that on Rene Montoya, with other related characters making occasional guest appearances. Gotham Central as well as its characters were considered some of the most underrated stories published by DC Comics in the early 2000s. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because even when they were written well and were highly original, most didn't care to learn about them. 